Nyva, Ali, Hillary, Anna. Are you surprised? I would have bought that after last time. You would understand she's how skilled at the disguise. I am. I certainly hope I look presentable. Ah, how kind. After all the research I did on you, I have a bit of an idea about your preferences. I decided to design my disguise along those lines. Why, certainly. Finding out what's a target's type is is one of the most useful things an assassin can know. If I hadn't wanted to speak with you alone, when we first met, I would have instead likely posed as an admirer and seduced you instead. People are at their most vulnerable when they're head over heels for someone. Believe me, I certainly did consider creating a whole false identity to appeal to your tastes, just to win you over and bring you to the blackouts. You know. But, well, my decision to try and get you to fall in love with me was personal. Emotional decision. It wouldn't really satisfy that side of myself if you fell in love with an act. But I put on for you. But then the uh, real me. Anyway, shall we go in? I've already sort of served as an outside seat. Hey, it's nice outside. <laughs> okay. Yep, just a bit. See, what did I tell you? The food here is excellent. I'm not... No. What made you think I was blushing? Don't be silly. Look, the food here is excellent. Really, it's a bigger draw than the alcohol. The owner apparently once had loftier ambitions, but had to settle for owning a small tavern. Like this one. Of course, I imagine you don't visit taverns often. That's one of the downsides of being a noble, in my opinion. Everybody expects you to eat and drink the very best. But that's all you ever get. No variety. I'm fortunate in that regard. As part of a noble family, I enjoy the finer things, but when I go on to cover as an assassin, I can experience a whole other side to the world. <laughs> yes, I suppose I'm romanticizing it a little. It's hardly a glamorous job. Or even a respectable one. And yet, it's not without it perks. Hmm? Oh, that is not as romantic or mysterious of a story as you might expect. It's not like I was raised just to kill or anything like that. I don't want to talk about it. 
it's just personal. As you can imagine, my upbringing was not without its difficulties. But we all come through those. It makes us stronger. If you don't mind, I'd rather not go into the gruesome details. If that's okay. Rest assured. I'm not the same person as I was growing up. Back then, my anger was undirected, and I just aimed at anybody in sight. Nowadays, I'm more focused. It's a good thing. Trust me. <laughs> well, fortunately, I think that play will lighten this somber mood I've just brought upon us. It's a splendid comedy, shall we? Mm. Yeah, plays I rated, aren't they? Look, I just picked out things I thought noble, nobles like. You know, if we were to wed, we could do more things like this. You'd have a few, perhaps you'd have so few responsibilities. With the weight of your family finances no longer burdening you. And Miss Suki's wouldn't think less of you for doing the sort of things uh, we've done tonight. Guilty as charged, yes, I did want to give you a taste of what you were missing. I want to show you why a queen to be mine is a much easier choice than you're making it out to be. Hey, I'm not finished yet. If you recall, there was one more thing I wanted to do on this date. Hmm. Still a surprise, so you'll have to wait until we get there to find out what it is. Come along, it's not far. Oh, while we walk, uh, what are your interests? <laughs> Sharp as ever. Yes, I know exactly what your interests are. But I've never heard you describe them. There's much you can learn from someone based on how they describe the things that are important to them. Oh well, but that actually comes as a surprise. You always act like fencing lessons are a chore. How shrewd, making people think you're less enthusiastic than you are. So if I fell under a vest of me, you skill with a blade at a critical moment. <laughs> I knew I fell for you for a good reason. But are you sure it was wise to tell me that? Although I do insist I won't harm you, you really would be wise to consider me the greatest threat to your life currently. <laughs> I don't hear that often. Not from people who know who I really am. Why do you trust me? <laughs> that is so like you. You say something so cunning, followed immediately by something incredibly naive. Well, naive may be fair. Optimistic, I suppose, would be the better word. 
I find it so enchanting. You're someone cunning enough to earn my respect. But you also very much have a wholesome, hopeful side. I lost touch with that side of me a long time ago. I can't help but think that you could complete me. No. But we can talk more about such things later. You know, we should try and figure out a sort of schedule, you know, where we can regularly meet him and just, well, do whatever comes to mind. This way, we don't have to fear scrutiny or intrusion. Oh, and here's the best part. Spend more time together. Oh, come on, that is the best part. <laughs> Stop toying with me. So, what do you think of this? Would it be agreeable to me? so often <laughs> I'm glad I've been given a chance to be alone with you for an extended period of once no more of this sneaking around to steal little moments where we can in fact I was hoping we could Together? Oh. Oh. Uh, are you sure you need to leave? It's alright. I didn't tell you to expect an overnight stay. So it's reasonable that you have other plans. But I do hope that we can figure out something soon. Perhaps evening after next. <laughs> I would love that. Well then, it's probably best that I don't walk you home. <laughs> Even in disguise, I should avoid the Nevada estate. But I shall see you very soon. Until then, stay safe.